Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you a very interesting device. Uh, this is uh, called a heads-up display for uh, your car, but uh, this is actually a lot more than that. This is a multiple device in one and I must say that although the box doesn't show anything about it, this is actually one of the most advanced and best working uh, heads-up displays and car tools because this is also an OBD it also has GPS inside so it's a lot of things and curiously they all work very well and I'm going to show you how it works how it looks and this is not only good for regular cars but the biggest surprise about it is that it also works with uh, plug-in hybrid vehicles which are totally different for, uh, from the regular cars as uh, their engine, uh, their internal combustion engine can uh, shut down anytime and they can uh, drive only on electric for even 50 kilometers uh, and that will kind of mess up regular OBDs and HUDs because uh, the engine stops and they cannot show you anything so they will tell you that the car is off well, this one also works on uh, this type of vehicles and it does it uh, wonderful. So let's take it out of the box and see what is inside first. Then, uh, of course, we are going to see all the features. So you are going to get a manual. The manual isn't uh, too big, but it has uh, the most important functions here written. It shows you how to operate the menu. It gives you some ideas about it. The, me uh, the menu is uh, only in English. But that's good because it's not in Chinese. This is the main unit, the HUD, or the display, or call it whatever, diagnostic tool, because it does that also. A pretty simple design. It has a sun protection here shroud that is going to cover the LCD inside so it doesn't glare too much in bright days. It only has three buttons here, and it has this adjustable pad that has a double-sided tape there you can unscrew this off if you want to it has a small screw in there and it also has this part here that is going to clip to this suction cup so if you don't want to glue this to your uh, dashboard you can fix this on your uh, windshield and this will clip on the back of the device and it has a small suction cup here so you get more installing options you get a very long usb cable and the obd cable itself this plugs into your car diagnostic connector and this plugs into your uh, uh, main unit at the back and in the box you are going to get also a small screwdriver for taking out the uh, support there you get this uh, pry tool if you want to cover the wires so you might need to take the trim off your car a bit so you can hide the wires and you get an extra sticky pad so if you put this on another car or somewhere else you have one spare and now for the interesting part and more fun part so this is connected the cable was connected to the obd port and i'm going to connect this and we are going to have a surprise this starts up and it puts me to select the OBD mode or GPS mode. Uh, OBD mode works with the car OBD while GPS doesn't work with the car OBD but uh, will bring you GPS information such as speed, heading, so still a uh, heads up display. But uh, nothing works here because my car is off but it still supplies power on the OBD port. That's a bit strange because on most cars when you turn them off the OBD port is also off. Well, on this one, because it's applied in uh, hybrid, the power is always on and this just drains your power, but shows nothing, just the voltage battery. So if I start the car, because it has battery power right now, and you are going to see that, it again doesn't do anything and it doesn't start up. It shows there's some voltage and there's nothing because the internal combustion engine is uh, currently off. So you can see that from uh, here it will be a bit better. So it did start up, but it's not going to do that all the time because uh, it doesn't feel that the car is working. So the first thing to do is uh, after you manage to start this up is to hold the OK button here and you are going to go into the settings and then you are going to go here down to the 
power uh, where it says sleep voltage you are going to press ok and you are not going to uh, you are going actually to change the default for, uh, rpm to com com especially for uh, hybrid vehicles you also have here a voltage cutoff where you can adjust so this is the detection of the protocol or how to uh, manage this device to know that the car is actually working or not you can use the voltage because the voltage goes up slightly when the car engine works and when it goes down that is stopped uh, you can use that as a detection you can use the rpm on a regular car but on plug-in hybrids you can use the com option and now uh, when i also turn off the car let me put the com so that is confirmed i'm going to exit the menu okay return so it shows here voltage and not a lot of stuff right now because the engine is off and i am stationary but if i shut down the car completely you can also see here that the voltage is dropping because it's not charging the auxiliary battery right now but this will actually stop in about 10 seconds you can also change that from settings and it's now off and it's connected and it's no longer showing voltage so it's not draining the power now it's in standby and it's working properly now if i power on the car back again in hybrid mode this starts up right away and it will no longer show you only the voltage and no information right so that's very important to do if you have a plug-in hybrid car or hybrid car do that com setting so the device knows how to manage your car and want to look for what the signal is so it knows to turn on properly and turn off properly otherwise you are going to end up with a big voltage display here or mostly a gps unit that shows you the heading the speed and that's it and now let's move on to the device features so uh, with the ok button you can change the display uh, dashboard so this is the default one but if I press once, I can change the display graphics. I can press it again. And it has several ways and information that are shown here. And you also have this more uh, thick mode where you have more indicators and no graphs. Then you have the acceleration test. So this starts right away. You put the foot down on your accelerator and you are going to get the zero 100 time the same for the brake test and then you have the um, PID uh, DTC reader so this reads the diagnostic trouble codes and it's going to show you here various these are the PIDs so these are values and you have several screens here with fuel trim, taco speed, ignition, intake air temperature, oxygen sensors, voltage so you get a lot of things here shown so you can check up a lot of information and I'm still going on the list so that's all so this is the PIDs then you have the menu button if I press this again and keep it pressed a bit I have the OBD diagnose and here I can also scan for DTCs clean the DTCs so if your car uh, check engine light comes on you can go here press the scan DTC and it will show you the exact uh, troubleshoot code and you can look up that on the internet uh, there are plenty of databases and you are going to know right away from what system from what part that trouble uh, code is another thing is that all the interfaces are slightly customizable so for instance on the default one if I press the right button here I can change here on the lower part actually the middle part I can change the indicator and I can choose what I want to see such as uh, pressure uh, fuel consumption uh, elevation intercare temperature throttle position system uh, time from when it was on distance uh, on this trip you can see the voltage the GPS uh, number of satellites and so on also you can use the left button here that one changes the top 
information so I can also customize that as I want so I can choose what I want with these buttons then the same happens with all the other dashboards so I can change here two of the displayed informations on this one I cannot change anything on this one I can change again what is down there on this one there is nothing to change here I can also change these two so that one and that one then on the next one there's nothing to do you just there are automated tests here I can scroll up and down and I'm back to this one and with that uh, setting done that I've shown you previously now if I go back to electric mode this display will not shut down with the engine because the car is uh, in ready mode so I can drive now on electric power uh, but this doesn't shut down otherwise if you don't set it up properly each time when your combustion engine will turn off and you are going to go into electric this will shut off restart show you the voltage and then wait for something to start again so that's how you set it up to work properly there are still some more features here so for instance you have this uh, ambient light you can customize that you can turn it off for instance but there are plenty more settings so let's uh, do a quick check of that menu also so you can go to settings menu here you get uh, language settings and you have se several languages here i'm going to let it in english uh, then you can actually disable the annoying for me beep sound of the keys and that is a lot more better then you can set up alarms for things such as speed coolant temperature rpm battery level uh, so this will give you a warning when the uh, engine temperature uh, has gone critical you know that especially if you don't have a gauge to show you the temperature this is very useful uh, then you have fine adjustments such as the speed adjust, speed offset, so you can actually calibrate this to show you the exact vehicle speed. You know that the uh, speed shown on uh, your uh, indicator in the car actually has a tolerance and it shows somewhere about 5% uh, more that you actually are doing or even 10% depends on the car, the range, the tires, there are a lot to take in account. You can actually calibrate this or use the GPS of the unit to know exactly, exactly the speed that you are driving to. Then you have the battery adjustment offset. Also, if does, this doesn't show you the exact voltage of your car battery, you can use a voltage meter to check your battery and then calibrate the device because the device measures the uh, voltage from the OBD port. So there could be some difference, some voltage drops. You can adjust that. You can also here set the uh, engine uh, size uh, that helps you if you want to have here a fuel consumption calculator that you can further adjust you have a fuel adjustment here so you can uh, do several small adjustments and you can get this to be very accurate then you can of course adjust the brightness of uh, this it also has an auto option so i think that somewhere it might have uh, probably here it looks like it has a light sensor so it probably adjusts about the ambient light uh, that is to be tested a bit more then you have this atmosphere which is on uh, and you can turn it off or on sadly it looks like I don't have the option to choose the color but that's still okay I can turn it off if I don't want it to, to be there CVT unit it's uh, temperature unit uh, you have Celsius, uh, Fahrenheit, speed units, the same for kilometer miles. You can have here some of distance and the power of time. This is how long the delay will be when you shut down the car. So this can turn off in just five seconds. So it wastes less battery power than the sleep voltage option. That is the correct protocol to use the device. You can adjust the time. The time is taken from the GPS uh, signal. And you can just adjust the time zone here practically. It knows the exact time here. So it allows you only to choose your time properly. Right. And then you have also the factory default settings. If something is messed up, you can reset the unit and that's it. 
And before we end uh, this video, because I have kind of covered most of the features and the settings and uh, things about this device, you might say that uh, I can also use my smartphone with the uh, OBD reader that it's only $10.00. Uh, I can plug that into my OBD port, put the mobile phone here and look at that screen. You can also do that, but I will really hate to have a phone that it's uh, uh, maybe running uh, Android Auto or uh, it's running OBD or someone calls me and I cannot see anything of that. So I usually like to keep my devices separate so I can have this that works and shows me what I want to see. The phone will be mostly Android Auto or phone calls uh, and I don't have to mess with it. So I don't have a small screen that does everything and if something doesn't work or it's busy with something else, I lose all that other information. No. This is standalone, it does its job. If I don't want it anymore, I just plug it off uh, from the car. Um, but it's much better than a phone alternative. So that was it for now. I hope that uh, you have enjoyed this video. And until my next one, see you and bye bye.